Good morning, YouTubers. How are we all doing today? Welcome back to Small Engine Garage. Um, today, I was just going to make a quick little short. This one absolutely should be quick. I was going to take you outside and show you our ice. I don't know how many of you are all are from Michigan. But we got a nice, kind of a nice storm. We got the good end of it. South of us got it way worse. There's power outage. Basically, the bottom third of Michigan don't have power this morning. See, my truck's just encased in it. Again, we got it. The ground is just solid ice. It's supposed to get into the 40s today, so it should go away. All my tractors are all encased in ice right now. Even my 345. That's too bad. I was going to show you this, too. A little John Deere 240 I picked up. Got hubcaps on it. It's supposed to run. No deck. What you see is what I got. Seat's good. Um, and a cheap little plastic John Deere cart. I got to get that in and get that going. I got a buddy that wants a tractor just to roll his lawn and to pull a lawn sprayer. And he, he was adamant about wanting a gear shift. So this is a 240. This is a little 14 horse Kawasaki gear shift garden tractor. This should do him just proud. Hoods are tough on these. Hoods are really tough on these tractors. They got a little glove box on them. Um, they do have, this one has tilt steering, it looks like. Nah, 240, it probably doesn't. Um, but Kawasaki should always run good for him. He does run non-ethanol gas, which you all should be running in your lawnmowers too. There's something to that, guys. That, get, that gas will last three years. Non-ethanol. Some of this stuff you get right out of the pump that you're putting in your car won't last through the winter. You'll have issues next spring because that stuff will be junk already. It's worth the dollar more a gallon. I run it in all my stuff. I run it my motorcycle. It's okay if you're running it in the tank in and out, but it's when you go to storage. I was also going to show you real quick. I finished tearing that motor apart yesterday out of that 345. There's no bearing in the top of that block. There's a bushing bearing. If that makes sense. I'll show you here in a minute. Where's it at? Right there. That bushing is supposed to be in the block. It's seized to that crankshaft, so he ran it out of oil. There's no doubt. But I did finally just finish taking it apart. There's That's the only stuff I'm keeping off that motor besides all the cam stuff that I'm going to need for that other 345. I think that's going to do it for now. I just wanted to show you all the ice, what it looks like after you get a little bit of ice. Kind of fun out there. Guys, never forget, a rich man is a man that's not afraid to ask the clerk to show him something cheaper. Y'all have a good day. Like Putin says, get off your ass and get your project done. Get them tarps off, get them boxes off it, get it done. Whether it's a car, a bike, a motorcycle, a snowmobile, who cares? You know, a, mo a boat, who cares? Have a good day, guys. Take care.